A very happy Friday flying friends and welcome. Now you've always wondered about the steps it takes to become a private pilot? Well if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name's Stefan, I'm a private pilot here in Australia, a YouTuber, bit of a travel junkie, and this is the first in a series of videos that I'm calling Flying on Friday. No I'm not. Which I'm calling Fly Day Facts. Just before we start, remember I am a private pilot. I do have a commercial pilot's license, but I am not an instructor. So remember the golden rule of all of these videos. If you see something here and you're not sure, then always remember to ask your instructor. Yeah, I'm gonna, do, I'll do a better graphic. So today we're talking about the steps required to become a pilot, especially here in Australia, but this is relevant all across the world. Let's get straight into it and let's put 60 seconds on the clock and then, it, oh, actually no, let's do it a bit more aviation themed. Let's put 600 feet on the altimeter. Much better. Okay, here we go. To become a pilot here in Australia and in many countries in the world, it really takes two key stages. The first of which is being a student pilot. The best thing about being a student pilot is you can find an instructor, hop in a plane with them, and you can be the one doing the flying right now, which basically means you're already a pilot. Now you can start your navigation training as a student pilot, but only with your instructor on board. So if you want to go further than your aerodrome, you're going to need to choose either your recreational pilot's license or the full private pilot's license. The recreation pilot's license requires 25 hours of flying time, five of which you need to be pilot in command, and you will need to pass an RPL flight test and exam. With the RPL license you can also carry one passenger and you can do basic navigation flying. If you want to go further though, carry more passengers and do more cross-country flying, you'll need to go for your private pilot's license. After your navigation training, to take your private pilot's license theory test and exam, you'll need 40 hours of flying, of which 10 need to be as pilot in command. But if you pass your check ride, you're a private pilot! You can of course continue to your commercial pilot's license, air transport pilot's license, night VFR, instrument rating, whatever you want, but we're running out of time and that's how you get your pilot's license. All right, now you know the steps involved. Here are my top three recommendations for what I think you should do if you wanna become a pilot right now. Step one is call your local flight school and book in what's called a trial instructional flight or a TIF. And this is where you'll get to sit in the aircraft with an instructor and they'll let you fly the plane. This is normally a short lesson, around 30 minutes, and you'll get to know how to climb the aircraft, descend the aircraft, some basic handling, and sometimes they might even let you land the plane. But it's the all important first step. It might not be the flying school that you end up flying with, but it's the flying school that you do your first flight with. And the first step is sometimes the hardest step. So get out there and take it, and then you're already on your way to becoming a pilot. Tip number two is go out and buy the theory book for the license you want to have. What I mean by that is, if you want to get the RPL license, then go and buy the theory book for the RPL test. If you want the PPL, then go and buy the theory book for the PPL test. There'll be a lot of information in those books which you don't understand yet, but it doesn't matter. It will come with time. What's important is you're starting to immerse yourself in that information and you're kind of starting to talk that pilot lingo, which will start to become really important when you're actually in there learning how to fly the aircraft. And tip number three is use the internet, but asterisk with caution. There is a lot of content out there on the internet. Look, I'm guilty of making some of it on this channel. There's YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, forums, so many people saying so many things about aviation and sometimes that information is contradictory. So use the internet for inspiration and to get motivated to become a pilot. But if you have any questions, don't answer them on the internet, answer them with your flying instructor. I hope you found that interesting. If you've got a question of your own that you'd like me to answer, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear the kind of thing you'd like me to talk about on this channel. Now, if you're into your flying and travel, do make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. There is a new video that comes out at least every week. I have more flying videos as a pilot flying around Australia. There's also travel videos as I make my way around cool destinations around the world. And it'd be great to have you on board. But meantime, thanks very much for watching. Have a happy fly day and I'll see you next week.